kindergarten, back with Mrs. Griffith again. Kindergarten, today um, we're going to go back and talk about our writing of beginning and middle and end. And last week you thought about the story, Harry the Dirty Dog, and you went back for me and you wrote a sentence summarizing what happened at the beginning of that story to Harry, what happened in the middle of the story to Harry, and then what, how did that story about Harry end, okay? Now we also talked about Zinnia's garden and you did some writing, you didn't do any pictures, but you did some writing and you told me what happened at the beginning of the story about Zinnia's garden and then what happened next, and then what happened, and finally what happened. So you used some transition words to tell me about what happened in the story of Zinnia's garden. Well, today I want to think about a time that we all shared together while we were still in school together. And the, the time that I wanna focus on, we have to kind of put our brains back a few months to December, to Christmas time. And I want you to think about the night that you all performed in the Christmas program. Do you remember that? It was really fun, wasn't it, kindergarten? You were all dressed up in your finery. You girls looked so pretty and you boys looked so handsome. And we all came to the classroom, right? And everybody gathered on the blue carpet your moms and dads dropped you off, and then we went over to the church. Do you remember that? Can you see the church, how crowded it was? All your moms and dads were there, and we were sitting in the pews over on the side of the church, right? So that was a time, a night, we all shared that. We were all together, and it really happened. It wasn't a make-believe story like Harry the Dirty Dog or Zinnia's Garden. So I wanna to think together, um, and I wish I had you with me, but I don't, so I'm gonna think out loud. What happened at the beginning of the Christmas program? And then what happened in the middle? And then how did it end? Okay? So I'm gonna think about um, the beginning of the Christmas program. We got over there, we sat down, the music started and pretty much right off the bat, kindergarten was first up. And you went up to the risers with Mrs. Goodwin and you sang your snowflake song, right? And you had your scarves and you did your dance. Do you remember that? Yeah. So I'm just gonna do a quick sketch and remember, I'm not a professional artist. I'm just going to do my best. So here were the risers up here. Um, they were all set up back there. And we stood on those, or you stood on those, to sing. And then when it was time to do your dance and song, you came down in front of the risers. Here's the cross up here. This is the back of the church, right? way up there, and there's the tabernacle, this is up there. So that's way up in the back of the church. And then you came down in the front and you did your dance with your scarves. So we had, we'll just put some girls here. And the girls had their scarves and the scarves were very flowy, right? Here we go. Girls had your pretty heels on. And so there's one scarf and then there's another person over here. She's got her scarf. We have lots of girls. Oh gosh, looks like she has a mustache. <laughs> and she had her scarf and it was flowing over here. And then we had somebody down in front here. Let's make that a boy, a little gentleman. 
He has his scarf out. His scarf was flowing this way. And you were all dancing around. And we'll put somebody else over here. And he'll be facing the audience. And he had his scarf out. And his scarf was floating around. Now, there were more of you, but I'm not going to take the time to draw all 25 of you. But you can imagine that more of you were there and you were all dancing and flowing with your scarves. So in the beginning of that night, the first thing that you did was you watched and I watched you sang your snowflake song and danced. So I can write those words here. I can use the high frequency word we. We. And because it's the first letter in my sentence, it's always going to be a capital letter, right? The beginning letter of a sentence is always capitalized. We, and I'm going to put my finger space in. Oops, got to hold on to my chart stand here. We danced. Here's that ED making the T sound. We danced and, here's our high frequency word, and sang, sang. Let's see if we can sound that one out. I'm going to put a finger space. We danced and Ang. Ang. That's kind of like ing. Ing is I-N-G. Ang is A-N-G. We danced and sang the snow. I know how to spell snow. Snow. silent E makes the A say its name. It's a long A. Snowflake song. I'm going to put that over here. Song. Oh, there's a ong. We've got ang up here and ong right there. We danced and sang the snowflake song. That's what happened at the beginning of the Christmas program. Now, in the middle of the night, and I'm just going to put a little line here to give me some boundaries. In the middle of the night, what did we do? We watched the other classes, didn't we? Oops. We watched. The other, there's TH saying th other. Sometimes TH says th, and sometimes it says th, or stick out the tongue sound. This is th, the vibrating sound. We watched the other class class is. Ing. Oh, we know what three letters say. I ing. I n g. Classes sing their songs. I have to put my period on the end. We watched. Now there, E D is saying. T. We watched the other classes sing their songs. Okay. So we were in our pews just over here. Let's say this is the side of the church. There's the end of the pew and there's the end of the pew. Maybe I'll put one more pew in there. And here we are. We're all sitting in our pews. I think our sixth grade buddies were over here, right? 
Okay, we're watching too. And we were watching the other classes. Let's say I'm just going to do some stick figures right now. And Mrs. Goodwin had them doing all kinds of wonderful things, didn't she? They just all were amazing. Can't wait to see what she has planned for next year. And then there were more kids. And so we <laughs> uh, got to watch all of those kids sing and perform. Okay. Here we are, we're watching upstage, okay? And there's more people over here and they're all watching too. It was very crowded that night, wasn't it? So, at the beginning, we danced and sang the snow, <laughs> Snowflake song. In the middle, we watched the other classes sing their songs. And finally, you can use a transition word, finally at the end, Finally, comma, we did the nativity, the nativity, remember that word, tableau. That's a funny word, isn't it? A tableau. That's where you just acted it out, but you didn't say anything. You um, just showed the tableau. So we have Emily, her beautiful long hair there. She was Mary. We had Asher. And Asher had his robe on, right? And M had her robe on. And uh, she was holding baby Jesus. Right there, we'll have her arm coming down to hold on to him. And there they are up on the stage. And then we had all of you angels were over here. You were all on the sides, coming around. Ooh, there were big halos. Surrounding Mary and Joseph, right? And we had the three kings and the sheep and all the animals, okay? And then the eighth graders were all up here behind you on the risers, right? They were all singing their songs behind us. So, finally, we did the nativity tableau. So I can think about something that has happened to me or to us and write words about what happened, okay? And that's what we're gonna be moving into next, kindergarten, is I'm gonna have you think about something that has happened to you um, and I'm going to have you do some writing about it. I'm going to have you tell me what happens at the beginning of that time, the middle, and the end. And I'll give you more directions about that uh, later in the week. But for now, just be thinking about how we want to talk about beginning, middle, and end, how we can use transition words, and we'll even come back and talk about how can we make a bold beginning and a mighty middle, and then an excellent ending for a story. Okay? Thanks, kindergarten. Bye!